was wondering what this place was. I believe the game is like what 20 20 hours long. Couldn't remember how long that's in. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> He's still alive to this point. So, jeez. What do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know... Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, Ooh. this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. Mm. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Hmm... Isn't that the beekeeper? Isn't there a character as a beekeeper? Are there the electronics? Yeah, I think there's a... Ready to talk to Dr. Young? Yes, he's controlling the bees, yeah. He must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not the wolves. Oh, nice! Ooh, yes! That's pretty cool. I'm, I think I'm gonna be creating yep. something like this. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is cool. I like this. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta protect the hive. Oh, nice. You're done, Peter. Hey, I've a very right productive from. session. Hey, Fashion. Fashion. Are real we got bees. great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. I know the numbers for the 
Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. Okay. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna show me the whole <laughs> thing that was Harry, going on in the a thing. A moment, if you please. Wait, uh, isn't that Dr. Connor? chance again. Wait a sec. It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. Oh my god! We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> <Don't> help. <laughs> I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. I wonder if, if they're gonna make a deal, see The lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Oh! Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. I forgot he did uh, turn into the lizard already. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. I forgot he turned into the lizard. Uh. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh, I could look at all this stuff that I missed. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Isn't that how he got all this stuff based? See? It's stretching. Oh, that's so cool. That whole, like, that whole scene when Peter had to fight Octavius. Mm. That was something else. That was something else. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. I think this is the beep spot. Welcome to entomology. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Yeah. Hey. Whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Oh, wasn't it supposed to go miles? <laughs> Sorry, guys. A reminder Keep copying, because I've been going through a lot of... Through a weather change where I live at. And, you know, every time the weather change around here, I get allergies, so... I still can't believe Dr. Connor is here. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it no. to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. 
So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming and... We're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. Don't remember I'll be my sure hair to check being that out. So, so smart, you know? The algorithm is similar to long divisions, uh, if you look at it that way. Well, obviously, it's nothing like the movies, so... Dr. Foster? Number? Yeah, it is. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, mm -hmm. we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal. Got it. Took a minute. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Oh. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source. Developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Hmm. One step closer to feeding the water. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. 2030. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, um, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Is this okay. supposed to be Oscar? Come on, where's your badge? I'm not Oscar. I need it to get in. Oscar. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Emily May. Oh no, he started his own, like. Emily May Foundation, yeah, so his mom and my grandma. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. I started doing this because, you know, man, she passed away. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. My boy, how much are we talking about, though? Like, is it gonna be salary pay, or...?
you join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> I thought he was gonna tell him oh. he's Spider-Man. One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I feel about it, though. We don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Hmm. Come on, man. He has a lot of money to be able to do all this crap. Okay. What in the... I can't believe this. Arachnid, come on! Now have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! True hunter knows how to camouflage. Could have just said I don't know. Get him down. Seriously though, where's your boss, Take Lee and Gargan? Your criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. Got the shot. Get out of the way. What about you? Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course. Never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my oh, so god, I is. finally did it. I have a stable career. So okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those bad science stacks later. Time to chase. Oh, is that a real gun? That actually works?
should have gone through that hole that hit the thing, man. That would have been so cool. Up, up, and you won't get away! Cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. We are not liking none of these people right now. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices! You are not worthy of his attention! But Scorpion is? Okay! Now, where's your boss? <coughs> that was pretty quick, to be honest. He didn't really do much. He's not tried to, at least. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. <laughs> there should be a. Yep. Oh, is that your home? Falling. Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? I'm so high up. This is pretty, this is neat. Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. Buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. <laughs> Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? Find out. I want to find out. Good luck. I need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Lower the ammo by shooting up the Heard something. Find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, Connection. I accepted Harry's offer. Generators That's fantastic. We should celebrate so. later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. My boy turned into like something else. To like a vigilante right now. Two of the blinds have stopped responding, and the spider has been seen in your area. Prepare the beasts. Yes, Raven, at once. 
Craven. That's their leader? Where did he recruit you? Alaska. I track poachers for the parks, but when I find them, I was harsher than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it? A leave of absence, so I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was Craven who did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt real game. <laughs> everyone. Now, what were they up to? Huh? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Hmm. I don't know what he's hunting yes, for. Yes, he's loaded. What do you need? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want some hunt. Which is right there. You hungry too? <clears throat> See you later. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. That's quite. That's oh. it. Mm -mm. oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. I'm gonna make a new thing, am I? Yeah. Nice. I feel like a new guy right now. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking field operation. No. <laughs> Beatles. Dude, what Dalandron. is this? Ammunition. Rations. Hmm. Still. <laughs> Better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich, or well connected, or both. next looks like this is the only way kind of looks like like 
um, one of those green goblins, a like search you know. lab. Hmm. Hallucinogens. Probably mm. the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. I don't want to. I don't want to think about it. The tiara apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea. Guess Craven could. Hmm. This is not looking anything any good. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Mm -hmm. Craven sure does his research. It's not looking it's not looking good whatsoever. Are they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Would you look at that. No, oh, what are you doing? Peter, 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 Peter. Peter, 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 Peter. Hey, MJ, Peter, Peter. I have another name for you. Craven. Dude, I miss like, like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light up in the city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, then the fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not wait for them? I will hit them. Can't believe I didn't look at the third evidence. I know. Okay, over there. I was worried Lee Fine. wouldn't have any. How did this happen? <laughs>
really use some answers instead of questions right now. Obviously, it has to be this one in the bottom. It can't be the big one. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't... Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! Is this what he's, he's been making? Nice, doggy, kitty, robot! He has a money problem, like, this braver is crazy! Run, bro! Those teeth are no joke. I'm here fighting Scooby Doo now. Heal, pull over, play dead. I wasn't paying attention to the screen at all over the Guys, putting together quite the team. My boy, sign else.
Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. No, he killed him. He did. Not Scorpion. He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. They're his prey. Felicia. Listo. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. Miles. I love you. Like a good mother. Yep. Yeah. I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Raven. And he killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know. But this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. Alicia's on their list, too. Black Hat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise. Alright guys, I think this would be a good got some point. Time until MJ calls. To leave the video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on those notifications, guys, so you don't miss none of my future videos. Alright, guys. Peace out. Yeah.